Well, hello again, everybody. I've been uh, a little busy here the last few days. This past weekend, I made me a score on some toolboxes. Uh, I've been wanting a set of these big boxes for a long time. And I finally got me a set. <laughs> First one, the short one, is a Mac. It's missing a drawer, but what I get for it, I can afford to buy a brand new door to put drawer to put in it. The other is a three stack craftsman. And over the last three days, I've been going through the small toolboxes, uh, picking tools up and putting them away. Still got a bunch to go. I uh, still got a lot to reorganize, but uh, you got your oddball drawer, you know, square sockets, uh, Torx bits, oh, you name it, drawer, punches and chisels, uh, ratchet screwdrivers, Allen wrenches and tap and dies, screwdrivers, pliers, and I swear I didn't know, think I owned that many pair of vice grips. And it ain't all of them. There's still more of them. Uh, the junk drawer right now, till I can get a lot of this segregated out, find out what goes with what. Oh, my! Whoops! Won't come off. Stamp drawer. <laughs> Offset wrenches, line wrenches, ratchet wrenches, wrenches. Oh, we got, this is a metric box. Everything in here is metric. Uh, some of the ratchets and extensions and breaker bars and sockets. More socket sets. Uh... This is going to be the catch-all drawer for you know, your terminal ends, O-ring sets, little screws and bolts, the brake tools, uh, swivel head wrenches, impact sockets, uh, pop riveter and pop rivets. Hammers and adjustable wrenches, big wrenches, and C clamp. Kind of a catch all right now. Do I get everything sorted out? Oh, three quarter drive ratchet set and three gear pullers so far. And the bottom is air tools, which I'm quite sure I'm going to have to redo this, but as it goes in my little box there's oh this is mostly quarter inch stuff quarter inch drive ratchets sockets little bitty wrenches set a full set of crafting wrenches I don't know what's down this one a lot of stuff I ain't even figured out where to put it and these are all combination wrenches like uh, three-quarter, five-eighths, uh, what is this, eleven-sixteenths, thirteen-sixteenths, some of these good old craftsmen, fifteen-sixteenths and one inch. Sometimes these wrenches are just handy and all get out. Well, if I haven't posted that much lately, uh, and say I've been busy, this is what I've been doing. <laughs> it takes a lot of time to go through all these toolboxes, and you discover you got a lot more tools than you thought you had. And I'm still looking for some things. That uh, two sets of Torx bits, sets, complete sets that I can't haven't found yet. So I got to find them. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is the process. 
going through all this stuff and trying to figure out what to put where and how did I end up with so many half and nine sixteenths wrenches? <laughs> Man, I must have a hundred of them. <laughs> At any rate, uh, you can see I've been busy. Uh, that's not one of them bring it home and switch everything over in a couple hours. This has been several days worth of work. But, it's like everything else, uh, you know, you do what you got to do, and you do without long enough, then you finally get them, and, man, I'm as happy as a little kid on Christmas morning getting me some big toolboxes. I love them. <laughs> I've been wanting a set of these for, God, it's been 25 years, and I'm not going to spend $1,000 for a box like that Mac. I'm just not going to do it. It just don't make no sense to me. But at any rate, uh, as you can tell, I've been busy. Still got more work to do, but as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, hopefully I'll get this done this week. <laughs> We'll see you next time.